I had a, a pretty liberal education in the sense that I got exposed to many things. Uh, science was the main thing I got exposed to uh, in my early life from my father's side. Uh, but my mother is, is a Roman Catholic, so I, I also got exposure to, to religious liturgy, religious uh, symbolism. I was never forced to participate. I didn't go to Sunday school, I didn't do any of the things that uh, a normal Catholic child is supposed to, to, to go through. Uh, but I got exposure uh, to it without pressure and without prejudice either. But by choice, as I grew up, as I went to university at 17, I, I didn't maintain an interest in religion. It, it, uh, at least at a, a self-reflective level, it, it didn't mean much to me. I was too involved in science and technology uh, to have a, a continuing interest in that. What did remain, though, uh, was an interest in, in Europe's medieval churches, like uh, Cologne's Cathedral here behind me, uh, an enormous church which took uh, over 600 years to build and started in the, in the 13th century. And I used to visit these places uh, with the excuse, or at least with the narrative I had within my own mind, that I was interested in the architecture. And I would go to these places and see the faithful in prayer, and this is a story I tell in the book, uh, More Than Allegory, and I would wonder how these otherwise rational people could reconcile their reason with their religious faith. It was always a question in the foreground of my mind when I would go to churches, which I, I would do often. Um, and then at some point, not so long ago, in my, in my mid to late 30s, uh, I had an epiphany in that very cathedral there. I was inside with no specific agenda, no, no special reason for being there, just enjoying the vibe of that place and enjoying the building. And I was looking at a large crucifix right above the shrine of the three kings, for which Cologne's cathedral is, is, is world famous. Um, and something happened to me. I experienced a kind of a, a shift in perspective, as if I had been transported to another cognitive space. It, it was not an intellectual thing. It was a, a, an insight of understanding that I couldn't put in words. But the implication of that insight, as I describe in the book, was that uh, it became very clear to me why the Christian myth is what it is. It couldn't be anything else. I understood it, and that insight sort of validated it. And at the same time, it shattered it to pieces, because I understood that what the religious myth was pointing to, in fact, had nothing to do with the literal uh, explanation, the literal description of the myth, or the literal interpretation of its symbols. So it was an epiphany that at the same time confirmed and shattered uh, the Christian myth uh, to me. And my understanding of religion, my felt understanding of religion, catapulted to a whole new level 